Yo, what's up? Bob here. Today we are talking Record Store Day, Black Friday 2021. In just a few weeks, we're all going to be out there on a brisk November day trying to get some of those sweet Record Store Day releases. I've picked out a number of records that I find interesting. Some I will most certainly buy. The others I just felt like I needed to talk to you about. But before we get started, I do want to say a couple things. There was a Thelonious Monk release, Monk's Music, that is no longer on the list. Super bummed about that. And also, if you are an 80s rock and metal fan, this is your year. Um, I noticed there's some Poison, some Tesla, some Mr. Big. So, even two Dio releases, but they're picture discs. So. But without further ado, let's get in to the records that have caught my eye. First, the original motion picture soundtrack, Blue Velvet Deluxe Edition by Angelo Badalamente. Yeah, that's right. A bit of a mouthful there. It is on marble blue vinyl, limited to 4,500 copies, and is $34. That's $33.99 to be precise. Now, as far as the record, Blue Velvet. It's a movie about a guy who finds a severed ear in a field, you know, starts hanging out around a nightclub, falls in love with a girl, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a great film. It's a David Lynch movie. Roy Orbison has a beautiful song on there. And uh, uh, Chris Isaac has a tune on there. It, it's a great soundtrack. Uh, I'm fairly interested in it. $33.99, $34. It's a little steep, but... It's, it's pretty cool, so I'm, I might get that. Next, Aerosmith, The Road Starts Here. 1971, you know what that means. These are demos from the rehearsal space for the first Aerosmith record. And boy, oh boy, do I love that first Aerosmith record. So, it is of questionable quality probably. I mean, it's from Joe Perry's personal recording device from the rehearsal space. It's on black vinyl, limited to 10,000 copies. 10,000 is a lot. It's 25 bucks. But my curiosity <laughs> is fueling this um, purchase, I would say. I, I just have to have it. I, I do love Errol Smith. Uh, one of my best friends growing up, his favorite band was Errol Smith, so I've just listened to Errol Smith a lot and this could this has the potential to be very cool now it could be very low quality it could suck could be just okay i don't know but you can also buy a cassette tape for 17 bucks next my number one pick oh yeah jimmy hendrix experience paris 67 Limited to 13,200 copies on red and blue mixed vinyl. This is put out by the Experience Hendrix Legacy Group, right? So they do a good job of making sure they have the you know, best source material they can. Generally, the pressings are done very nicely. In this situation, the cover is amazing looking. It's, you know, Jimmy, Mitch, Noel. They're standing there kind of on a rainy day with the umbrella. Very cool picture. I'm pretty excited about this. Nice set list. Presentation's on point. It's $22.99. That's another thing the Hendrix Experience Group does is they don't charge a lot of money um, for the releases generally. So, yeah, this is my number one pick for Record Store Day. The Jimi Hendrix Experience Paris 67. 67. That's very early for him for Jimmy. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked on that. It, it, I shouldn't have a hard time getting it. Generally, the, the Hendrix releases are kind of around, but uh, as a certified Hendrix fanatic, I must get that. It's It looks amazing. So, After the last few record store days, I decided that I was going to try not to buy any more records that I already have. That said, Miles Davis, Live Evil. Yes, I have a copy right here. Now, mine's a... It's an old original copy on Columbia 360, right? It's a little noisy. It's a little warped. It plays well, and... it Look at this cover. It's freaking amazing. 
this this would probably be okay. And the record store day when we don't know what the source material is, we don't know if it's sourced from the real tapes or if it's digitally sourced or what, but we do know that it is on opaque till vinyl. It's limited to 10,550 copies and it's $33. It's a double LP. And I may have to get it because it will be perfectly quiet and hopefully flat. <sighs> decisions, decisions. That said, I do have it right here. This is a pretty nice copy. I may be just trying to justify another Miles Davis purchase. Anyhow, okay. Yeah, like I said, Live Evil, Miles Davis, John McLaughlin just ripping, you know. That kind of ends the records I'm definitely getting. Now we're getting into some of the records that I could possibly get, depending on, you know, if the mood hits. Uh, Gladiators, 1983, the Nighthawk EP. Great reggae group. This is a 12-inch plus, which means it's probably got three or four songs on each side. It's limited to 1,500 copies. It's on red, green, and yellow splatter, of course. It's 20 bucks. That's, eh, it's not too bad. Um, that's a cool EP. Next, Big Brother and the Holding Company, live at the Monterey International Pop Festival. We know this set, Janice at Monterey Pop, so we know what we're getting into. It's fantastic. It's Janice Joplin. She's killing, ruling. This one is limited to 4,000. It's on psychedelic colored vinyl. It's 27 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty strong. That is pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Dusty Springfield, the complete Atlantic singles, 1968 through 1971. It's on ruby red vinyl. It's a 2LP set. It's $47.99, so it's $48. It's limited to 2000 You know, the most important Dusty Springfield record to have is this one, uh, Dusty in Memphis. The other records are quite inexpensive and can be somewhat easily found. This is the tough one to find, especially clean. So I don't, I don't know if, if, look, if you don't have this and you just want some Dusty Springfield in your life, this could be cool for you. It's 50 bucks, but you get a wide range of her material. It's all fairly strong. This looks like a pretty nice set to own. Sunra, the Omniverse. This is being put out by Modern Harmonic. They've been doing a lot of the other Sun Ra releases. They generally use the master tapes. They are very nicely done. This will probably follow suit with that. It's on black vinyl, limited to 2,250 copies. It is $25.99. I will probably listen to this record online a few times, and that will help me make the decision on whether or not I'm going to pick it up. Thundercat. Yeah, that's right. The Golden Age of Apocalypse. If you don't know Thundercat, he is a bass virtuoso, likes to sing in a falsetto. He's a humorous guy. He used to play bass for Snoop, Eric Badu. He's got several solo records out. They're all fairly strong. Do like the Golden Age of Apocalypse. This is the 10th anniversary. It's on translucent red vinyl. It's limited to 4,000 copies, but it is $35. That's, that's pretty high. It, it, this happens to be the only Thundercat record I do not have. Next, Stray Cats Live. Mm, this is a 3 LP set and it is $48.99. I love the Stray Cats. This is a big set. It's limited to 4,000 copies. It is on a trifold sleeve with a four-page book. And it's pretty cool. It's on silver vinyl. If you don't have all the Stray Cat studio records, don't get this. Go go find those. But this is pretty cool. I wouldn't mind having it, but it is basically 50 bucks, and that's that's pretty high. It's pretty high. It's, music on vinyl is putting it out. So it's, the pressings are probably going to be pretty nice. It's going to be some burning rockabilly for sure. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Chet Baker, Albert's House. This is his first record back after his accident. It's on black vinyl. It's limited to 1,300 copies, $24.99. This is an all instrumental record put out uh, by the label Liberation Hall. 25 bucks isn't bad. I'm going to listen to this one online and see if it's a record that I must have. But I'm trying to be careful with my money. More about that in a second. Ooh, The Best of Judas Priest. It's $39.99 on clear, black with gold splattered vinyl. 
limited to 3,000 copies. Now, you can get this, the regular, just original pressing of the best of Judas Priest pretty easily. I see it around quite a bit. We don't know what the source material is, but I have every Priest record, so I don't really need the best of, but if you don't have a lot of Priest or any Priest, this would be an excellent, an excellent record kit. It's 40 bucks, but you know, you get the colored vinyl. Oh yeah, The Life Aquatic soundtrack. This is a cult classic movie starring Bill Murray. They've been threatening to put this out for several record store days. I guess it's finally gonna happen. The website I am looking at does not say that it's limited in any way. All it says, it's a two LP set on cerulean blue vinyl for $30.99. So, pretty cool. I would imagine this is probably gonna come out as a, a, a wide release after record store day. Last but not least, Charlie Parker Bird Note. This is a big Charlie Parker set. It is four LPs. It is chronicling Charlie Parker's concerts in LA and it is $93 on Black Bottom. This is probably pretty cool. That's it. There are several Charlie Parker collections that you could buy. They're all in that same kind of price point. This may or may not be the best one to get. This one looks, the artwork on this is really epic. The song list is really good. It's 93 bucks. I don't know, I, I won't be getting it, but I will say this, it's probably really cool. I'm trying to be careful with my money because in December, there are a bunch of awesome releases coming. You've got Marvin Gaye's uh, What's Going On 50th Anniversary from the Master Tapes. Yeah, that's going to be incredible. You've got a whole host of releases from Blue Note and the Verve series Acoustic Sounds has been putting out, right? With, those, with also the Impulse titles. So you get a couple different Coltrane releases like Crescent, and Coltrane and Duke Ellington, live at the Village Vanguard. There's a lot of records that I'm gonna be trying to buy in December, which is a lot of money, so I don't wanna blow all my cash on Record Store Day. That said, the important thing about Record Store Day is going to your local record store and buying some records. It doesn't have to be even one of the super limited Record Store Day releases, though, I'm sure they would appreciate you buying some of that stuff. But the important thing is to go down there and buy some records. Anyway, please like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave some comments down below. And until we meet again, that's right, folks. Bob out.